One of the most photographed places in Alberta, and maybe even all of Canada, is the breathtaking view of Spirit Island set in the vibrant blue waters of Moline Lake, Jasper. Despite living in Alberta my whole life, I had never been to see it until recently. Come tag along with me as we explore Moline Lake and the beautiful Spirit Island. Today we've booked tickets to take the Maling Lake cruise all around Maling Lake to visit Spirit Island which is an incredibly famous and picturesque island here in Jasper, Alberta. Well we got up early this morning, had breakfast and drove 40 minutes to Maling Lake here down the Maling Lake Road which is an extremely beautiful drive. The lady on the phone told us that it was going to be one to one and a half to maybe even two hours. So we left really early at 9.30 for our 11.30 tour time slot and we got here at 10.10. So we have lots of time to explore the area before our boat cruise starts. Those are the boats that we're gonna go on very shortly to tour around Maling Lake and all the way to the other end to Spirit Island which is approximately 14 kilometers I believe from the boat launch. You can rent canoes or kayaks if you don't want to do a boat cruise or tour um, but it will take you the better part of the day to probably row all the way to Spirit Island. They do have camp sites on the other side of the lake so you can canoe or kayak to Spirit Island, stop, camp, spend the night and then canoe or kayak back the next day. Obviously with children, that's not something we're gonna do. While you wait for your cruise time slot, you can explore the lakeshore area. There is a chalet restaurant, which was closed when we visited due to COVID, a gift shop and cafeteria, even a waffle hut. I'm not much of a gift shop person, but even I had to admit that the Moline Lake gift shop had some pretty awesome stuff. And then it was time for our boat cruise. It's highly recommended that you reserve your boat tour tickets in advance because it can get really popular, especially in the summertime. And you don't want to drive all the way out here and then miss your chance. Due to COVID-19, we have to wear masks on the boat. They're only filling the boat at half capacity and we have to get our temperatures checked before we get on. Luckily, we were all healthy and were allowed to go on board. Our tour guide was fantastic, funny, and taught us a lot about Maling Lake. Now we are the longest naturally formed racially fed lake in the Canadian Rockies. Now that is a mouthful, but I will explain every point. 
So if you look onto your left hand side there, you will see a big grassy green hat, very vibrant. And then above that, they are just disappearing in the clouds now, but you'll see two big parallel slabs of rock with each other. Now that is what we call Sinking Ship Ridge, and I assure you, we did not name it after Nick's driving history. He has a spotless record. So that is the area of the second largest landslide in the Canadian Rockies, okay? So during the last glaciation period, the lead glacier came through cutting this valley out. It worked its way from the north end to the south end of the lake where it now rests. Now while it was cutting out this large valley for our lake, it cut a large overhang on these mountains. So they were a bit too top heavy and some of them fell down in a landslide. Now this one here, that green grassy couch, used to be on top of that mountain there. So it tipped over, causing a massive landslide. You can see this on your right hand side, a little bit back. There is a massive, massive rock. You can see some of them hidden in the trees. You can even see some on your left hand side. And that is evidence of that rock slide. Now we are also driving on top of massive, massive boulders, about two to three stories high. And we don't even know it while we're driving over there. So it's a massive, massive landslide. About 500 million cubic meters of rock fell down, okay? Now, I don't know what that looks like, but that is approximately a lot of rock. <laughs> One of my kids' favorite parts, well, at least Parker's, was when we crossed paths with other tour boats. We'd have to go across their wake waves, which caused our boat to bump up and down. So in three, two, and one. After the first time, Parker yelled out again. So every time the tour boat hit waves, the entire tour group would turn and grin at my son. <laughs> and then we found ourselves at Spirit Island. There's still much more of Maling Lake beyond Spirit Island, but it is only for canoes and kayaks and is a protected zone. This is where potential campers must paddle to shore. While Spirit Island is beautiful, it is also off limits. This island is a sacred place for the Stony Nakoda First Nations tribe here in Alberta. Arrowheads dating back 8,000 years have been found here. This island was used for rites of passage when youths were sent to stay on the rock for three to four nights and would return as an adult. You get to the Spirit Lake boat dock. They let you get off for about 15 minutes to walk around. There's a little trail that loops along the water's edge. I'm trying not to fall on the rocks and roots below me. And it's got a fantastic view. After one honk of the boat, we better get back on before they leave us.
then it was time to get back on board and return to the lake shore. On the return ride home, we were allowed to go out on the back deck of the boat and enjoy the breeze. Our boat tour was fantastic. Captain Nick and our tour guide Mig were incredible. So instead of me putting it something on TripAdvisor, it's on YouTube. So thank you to Nick and Mig for the great time. I highly recommend this tour for anybody who's in the Jasper area. It's definitely worth the money and it's definitely worth the drive and the time that it takes to get here. If you could visit Spirit Island, would you cruise to it like us or canoe or kayak yourself? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it out so others may see it. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so and join my travel community. Thanks for watching.